Well, another one of these videos where I thought it had I thought I had it on me the whole time and I didn't have it on me the whole time. So so the start of the video will be cranked up, a little more of a distant style sound, but you should still hear me fine. And then this one will be more warm and clear, this half of the video, where I'm going to speak on something a little bit controversial. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So today Christ is really putting the sub in subscriber sponsored request from Mr. Sub. Somewhere I don't often go. I'm a Subway guy, but I don't mind me some Mr. Sub. And this is his one of his favorite subs. He gave me two options. I chose the latter, the one that served me the most. So let's get a few things situated and uh, then we'll start eating. All right, sandwich and chips situated. Today we had to go with the Sun Chip, they're just such a beautiful, crunchy, perfect, snappity texture. I love them. And the guy at the till totally agreed. We'll talk about that in a moment, but before we do anything more, we must. Papa pour. So we got fresh ice and a nice zero sugar Dr. Pepper here. And uh, let's just go in with that for old time's sake. Very classic. Don't know when the last time we had a nice pour up was. But I'm ready for it. But yeah, the dudes on um, making the subs were super, super on point, talkative, just like down to hang kind of thing. They're just having, having vibes essentially. And uh, when I got to the end, to like the till, I was like, yeah, I'll just make it a combo because Christ, because Christ who uh, sponsored this video, didn't say like anything about. Uh, a combo or anything like that he just said that his two favorite subs from there are either the assorted or the canadian club or the club this is canadian club but club and uh to get which one i preferred so i got the club i prefer a club over an assorted like a cold cut he didn't have any specified toppings so i kept it simple the club is a turkey ham and bacon so I just went lettuce, tomato, pickles, and then he said you got to get it extra saucy with mayo and sub sauce, which I did. She's quite saucy. But anyways, I was, as I was pulling to the till, I made it a combo and uh, it comes with, you know, pop and a uh, drink or drinks and a chips. Wow. If I could speak today, I also got it pressed off. I don't know if that's something that Christ does, but I always got to do a toaster or press. Um, mm. I, I got the, I was debating the chips. He agreed, go sun chips, got the Dr. Pepper. And then he's like, I could throw uh, some cookies in there on the house, but like he said it, it so quick, it was kind of under his breath. And I didn't know if he said on the house or not. And so, I was like, did you say cookies on the house? He's like, yeah, we could just throw some in there for you. And I was like, what's the, you know, what's the catch? Is this, is this just some lucky day shit? He's like, nah, I don't know, every couple customers or so. We'll throw them in there. And then the other guy who made the sub for me piped in. He's like, only our favorite customers. And, uh. In my head, I'm like, I. I never come here. Like, I barely ever come here. I'm a, I'm a subway guy. You know? So, either they like people who talk back with them during, like, the making of the sub is what I thought, maybe. You know, people who aren't grumpy and, like, are interactive because we had chat, we had banter. Or... Maybe they just hand them out so maybe they can get a better, like a tip, which I did tip them.
generously because this is a request, like a sponsored request, so that's generous to me. So I pay it forward. And also, Chris, thank you, Chris. I want to say the way you went about your request was exactly perfect. A man who knew what he wanted and factored in all the costs and everything and just was like, here's my favorite thing. Here's the money to cover the cost because he, he knows what it costs to, to get this, right? But also an additional little bit of a, hey, how are you? to compensate for time, you know, going to get it, making the video, editing the video, etc., etc. like, you know, you know, we didn't have to have a back and forth or a dialogue or anything. It was just like, here's this much for the sub, some extra for your time. And then this is what I want. Get it. So a man who knows what he wants. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I debated getting the cheese bread. I would usually get the cheese bread, but I felt like for this it needed just to be a uh, standard white. And I think I made the right decision on that. It is very delicious. I think keeping the toppings minimal was the right choice. And I will say this over and over. Sun chips. Find me a chip with a better texture, really. <clears throat> They're like the wheat thin crackers of the chip world. So good. Well, another one of these videos where I thought it had I thought I had it on me the whole time and I didn't have it on me the whole time. So so the start of the video will be cranked up, a little more of a distant style sound, but you should still hear me fine. And then this one will be more warm and clear this half of the video where I'm going to speak on something a little bit controversial, just something I Drove by the other day. I live near a uh, like a Catholic elementary school, and I saw parents like picketing outside, and they had these signs, which I'd like to kind of speak on. And you know, in the zeitgeist these days, these things are all you know controversial and things like that. I'm gonna just say my piece, and uh, relate it back to even my childhood, but. Basically, their signs were saying that uh, the schools are raising the children these days, indoctrinating them with this like sexual propaganda about gender, essentially, and they're sexualizing the children too young, and uh, this whole like you don't have a gender like you're, you're androgynous until you and you can identify as and this is all happening starting in you know kindergarten now sk grade one it seems to be really being like enforced in the schools as a like new part of the new curriculum or whatever and 
I was in agreement with their signs in that. It's just like when I was a child, gender roles, the whole like boys play with uh, dinky cars and they get the hammers and the little tools and, you know, boys do the boy stuff and girls are skip ropes and, and uh, hopscotch and, and uh, dolls and Barbies and things like that. You know, that's gender role stuff. And for me, I feel like as boys and girls, male, female, a large portion of males and females, they, they gravitate towards the things that, that are kind of more natural to them. And by and large, that is how it goes, I think. I just, it is how it is. But there are anomalous crossover kids who want to, you know, girls who want to play with the, with the cars and they want to ride a skateboard or whatever, you know, you know what I mean? Like, and that's all fine. That's just like self-expression through things that you are interested in, think are fun. So that's individualized, uh, interest, like knowing thyself of, but it doesn't attack sexually the gender of the child in question. And it seems now it's just like we're not we, not, but in society now, the, in the curriculum in schools, they're trying to sexualize children at such a young age and I just think that's so unnecessary because A, they're too young, right? To even be having these conversations, they don't know what gender identity is yet. They don't really, you know? And it's like dangerous because I think it can lead to some weird mental health issues, but you have to look at children like impressionable sponges, like, or maybe like a, a new laptop, for example. They're, they come into the world loaded up with their own DNA and certain identity and stuff. But along the way, you can load programs onto that laptop and you can make that laptop or whatever kind of formatted to how you want it to be. And that's similar to children. Like you can really influence that, ch that child as it develops. And I don't think it's even the job of a public, in the public sphere for an educator to be having that influence on children at all. That's, that's a matter for the home and a matter for the individual, he or she, their self in their life as they age and get older. And they need to go through the stages of their life authentically and allow time to unfold to, to come to where who they really are and they won't know that until late teens early 20s that's just a personal journey your sexual identity and your sexuality is a very deeply personal journey and it has to has to be naturally unfolded over time that's just it you know you got to go to 
to a few parties and have a few crushes and go on some dates and get in a relationship and uh, I don't you just have to explore yourself and your life and I just don't think that's it's even required in a curriculum in school at all this whole like gender fluid you like what do you let's go around the circle and see what you identify as it's like that's so weird to me the only thing that should be in school like that is just more inclusivity anti-bullying let's not you know intentionally mess with each other and hurt each other for shits and giggles some cheap thrills and some laughs like and even then that is so hard to uh eliminate or remedy anyways because human behavior and social groups is designed that way through our nature in a hierarchical social setting like you're always going to have like like-minded little tribal cliques who click up and they're going to be in opposition to the other style of human. And that's part of in my in my opinion healthy socialization. Because in life, you're going to run into people that you don't necessarily agree with. But you're not going to go to war with them either. It's like, okay, look, we have differing opinions. We don't see eye to eye. But I can respect and see yours and you can respect and see mine. And it's like, agree to disagree, live and let live, you know? Though we have our own ideals and opinions. That's just being mature. Right? Don't hate you. Don't not like you even. Just don't agree with you. But that all forms like in childhood. So the anti-bullying thing and the more that like more inclusion that all makes sense to me but this whole like sexualizing and genderizing or non-genderizing really those aren't really words but um not like, m making children non-gendered non and we're talking about that at what age five six seven it's just too early like it's In my opinion, it's perverse, to be honest. And uh, so when I drove by and I saw them with those signs, I was in support. Free cookie. See how they are. Not as good as a Subway. Still good. Especially because they're free. But yeah, that's my take on the situation. And look, let me wrap. I'm all for being gay, trans, whatever you want to be. I don't give a shit. You want to identify how you want to identify, that's whatever. Cool. Express yourself exactly how you see and feel yourself to, you know, be comfortable in this world. But at the age where you have, that's uh, your aut autonomous decision to make. Like that's, you've really lived with self and, and come to understand yourself and you filtered things out and you've made uh, an informed decision about who you are, how you are, what you are in those ways. 
at an appropriate age for yourself. Not this, not this uh, bending the minds of children. It's uncalled for. It's weird. And it's a risky game. It just doesn't, you know, you have to let them go through it themselves and become themselves through themselves over time. And it shouldn't be in the school as part of an educational aspect of school. Education is reading, writing, math, science, all the things that make you actually able to function in the world. Outside of that, personal, sexual identity, gender, all that stuff, that's not for the children. It's just not. So I'll end it there. I would imagine most of you would agree. Perhaps there's some of you who don't, but I'm steadfast in that opinion. And uh, I'd be hard-pressed to see how, you, how anybody could really disagree with it. It's just a strange time we're living in in terms of this stuff that's happening with the kids at school. And I don't really even have a, any stake in the game, right? Like, I don't have kids in school. But I've seen through social media what is happening with, like, um, you know, these chants, like these songs, things that are pushing these agendas, which is, uh, once again, super strange. But anyways, thank you again to Creased. Um, I'd be interested to see what you guys think down below. And uh, sorry for the audio mishap in the start. Hope it didn't ruin everything. And uh, till the next one, you could live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.